He's aggressive in the zone. He's not scared off. I like him. I like him a lot. Seventh overall pick in, two. in his major league debut after he had not pitched above a ball. There's David Peralta leads it off here for the Diamondbacks. Shoots one foul off to the left. Rolls it over foul and will do it again. One and two. Backs. So Joe Musgrove, six shutout innings. Actually, finally did. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. 96 coming at you from the left side. Stab. Yeah, they made the decision, knowing what Ryan Weathers is is like between the ears, right? His his mentality. Big leaguer. In the air, down the left field line, Mateo over towards the corner, and he'll make the catch. Running into foul ground to make the grab right in front of the wall for the first down of the seventh inning. He's playing an outstanding left once in 2020. Played there for two innings. The ground ball up the middle. Cronenworth to the backhand. Two down. Dating back to last year. Wow. Eight K's, no walks. Wow, very impressive. And uh, he had all of his pitches working. Particularly that cut fastball. You know, he had the cut fastball, the slider, and the curveball working. We saw some changeups as well. Great location. Great location on all of his pitches. That was a strike. Oh. This one is right off the mask of Carey. They all pitch to Eduardo Escobar. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. So Weathers has a clean one, two, three, seventh and seventh inning stretch with the Padres on top. Except that'll feature Chris Paddock as well, Don. All right, thanks very much, Mike and Mark, as we play along here to the eighth inning. And why I'm at this pinch hitting for Josh Van Meter. Popped up, first base way. Profar going as far as he can. And he has got a play. Almost overran that ball. In fact, it was coming back. But Profar is there to make the catch for the first out of the eight. And it is Tucapita Marcano who has come in at third base for Manny Machado and is now first. Okay. No, I think that's is the that marine, marine layer. layer. Yeah, I feel it. There's a ground ball into the shift. Cronenworth in short right. We'll get it there in time to get vote two down. You're absolutely right. Look at that. Look at that. It's a marine layer. Yeah, it's kind of reminiscent. Did you ever go to Candlestick Park back in the day? No. I'll tell you what, that fog would roll over, would roll over yep. into Candlestick, and it was something to see. Well, it, it's, it's significantly gotten, uh, yeah. It cools right off. Yes, it does. It does. You can feel the dampness in the air, right? Yes. In the eighth for the second time. Trying to hump that one up. Swing and a miss, and Smith strikes out. Ryan Weathers faces six. As the Padres go into a shift on the right side. Oh, so two ground outs and a line out. Hey, Donnie, remember last time in the history of Major League Baseball? Wow. Two other guys, Cody Ross. So he's lined into center field, and... Rojas is aboard. Little slip out there by Fan. He'll get it back in, but a leadoff single for Rojas starts the ninth fielder. He's ranked as the number three prospect of Baseball America in the Diamondbacks organization. Here he is. He is L before the game today. He was called up today. And took over defensively at shortstop last inning. His first major league plate appearance. 6'2, 203. 
from the Dominican. It's a lot of fun. Domo lays off. AJ, I hope you're listening. That's strike three. First out of the ninth inning. Now, if Weathers can finish off this. This one is to second. Second for one, on to first for two, and that is the ball game. In the sixth inning, it's for himself to lead off the seventh. He's thrown 85 pitches. Got Luis Camposano and the Padres strand a pair. Yep. And Ryan Weathers did that. And he did just fine, thank you. No runs, didn't walk anybody, and struck out two. Swing and a miss, and Gosman strikes out. Good start for Ryan Weathers. I was hoping you were going to save that copyright for next inning when the pot in. Right. As you pointed out. Not the best analyst in the league for nothing. <laughs> There's a strike three and one. Strike two as Weathers battles back. Ball four and a one out walk. The Giants have a base runner. On the ground to second base. Could be two. The second for one. On to first. It is not in time. Tim had was talking to Jose Trevino about his arm action, like he turned it over in a changeup. Yeah, I don't think so. It looked like so a four seamer. But maybe a little bit of a weird grip. As we see now, the Padres have gone into the bullpen. Padres have gone into the bullpen, and it has been a, goal, a good bullpen. Ryan Weathers and the second pitch popped up in a right field for out number one. Take a look at the of certain players just basically skipping double-A, triple-A. Or did they play? Yeah. Like oh, the so they, were they not here? No, I think they eventually came here. Okay. So Ryan he, Weathers and the rest of the pen. He did pitch in that wild card series. Oh, no, he did not. I'm sorry. He pitched one game in the postseason, his big league debut, which is still wild. I don't know how you handle that. We talk about all the emotions of that first time. He did well. To an inning in the third, did not allow a hit or a run. That ball hammered deep to left. It is gone. A solo shot for Kiner Falefa, his second of the year. And he puts the Rangers back in front. It's been a very good night here for Isaiah Kiner Falefa. A couple of really good at bats playing some good defense here. Thinking about trying to hit home runs a little bit too much. Great play out there by the Ranger fan with the old school Len Braves hat. <laughs> he had out there, but a nice play nonetheless. That was a line shot. That was a line shot off the bat of Isaiah Connor Falefa. Goal. In the lineup, he was not in the lineup yesterday. He was feeling the ill of say was it feeling well yeah. under the weather but yeah. oh, interesting it looked like he had he took a pretty good at bat maybe yeah. he's feeling better by the end of the day no hitter last night for Joe Musgrove Again, playing the vaccine this one on the ground David hold it short and that one's bobbled but Kim couldn't come up with it cleanly and Dahl is aboard with one out I would guess this probably goes down as an error as a backhanded rule a little bit for left-handed pitchers but Jared had mentioned, Jared Sandler, of course, on the radio side here with the Rangers, that Padre shortstops have now committed seven errors. No. Big swing and a miss by Gallo. Yes, yeah, so seven errors by their shorts. Errors. 1-1 one, one from Weathers. And that one popped up. Foul ground, third base side. Hanging up there a little while. And that's a tough play. 
I don't know where he was going. Maybe he felt like he put extra spin on it. <laughs> Maybe. A little trick shot. Minnesota Fats. David Weathers has been like 15 oh. years since he's pitched. <laughs> Pardon me, Ryan Weathers. <laughs> You're right. One more point it's going to happen. I'm going to do it too, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> Little offense now. Nate Lowe, Nick Solak, Ronald Guzman, and Ryan Weathers. Two. Good fastball. Uh, a save in his first regular season appearance and he gets a strikeout here of low and he made that in there they're now at 500 it could be a pretty interesting club this summer too angels by the way and Nick could use a little something to get him going unlike Nick Solak would chase that one one and two the one two from Weathers and it's upstairs. Nice history who in their first regular season appearance earned saves. Weathers one of them and he strikes out Solak. There are two gone. The other two. Right, Guzman the hitter now. Fouls that one away. This is there. Yeah, so you mentioned how Weathers made his debut. Going to be on the roster? I don't think I know that story. Well, he was going to take his quiz, and he he asked him. He said, "Well, what pile do you take your test from?" And Weathers said, "I don't really." One out of the big league pile. He'll be joining the team for the division series. <laughs> That's kind of kind of a cool way to find out, and then puts a little pressure on that test. You, you better. Pass. I know the numbers have been fantastic. I think it was like 0.4 percent or something. Heim goes after the first offering and takes it to fairly deep center, but 